It was another sensational finish between rivals Taylor and Indiana Wesleyan this afternoon. Unfortunately for Trojans fans, Taylor came up just short in a 61-60 loss to the Wildcats. We've made some real strides to play this kind of a game with this, uh, this uh, caliber team. I think uh, especially given the fact that Tommy Pelly was injured and wasn't able to play the last uh, about 18 minutes of the game. I don't think that makes it easier. It's very disappointing for our kids. And, and uh, I think the, our challenge for them is just going to be to, uh, they're going to have to show character and uh, toughness and get up and go again. And we have to just keep staying after it until we get it right. Taylor led for most of the second half as sophomore Casey Coons and senior Drew Tower made clutch basket after clutch basket. I've been really uh, pleased and proud of uh, Drew uh, as a senior and as a guy who's uh, not played uh, nearly this many minutes in the past. He's, he's really become a pretty steady, pretty consistent guy. Again, made some big plays today. Um, He's got to be really a, a guy who, who uh, you can build around, and I think we're, uh, you know, he's going he's gonna to leave his impact on this program. Um, here's the Casey. It was good to see him get back in the mix of all this. Sophomore Nate Casper also played a solid game, as the big man scored 16 points and pulled down five rebounds. But the game came down to the final possession, as Taylor trailed by one with 15 seconds to play.